Hey everybody, Anne here. I tell you what, it rained a lot yesterday evening and overnight and when this happens the frogs start doing their mating calls. Remember a few videos back I showed you uh, the, the frog spawn on my pond? Um, well, that happened. Those started showing up a day, e either the morning after or a day later after it rained and I heard the procession of the frogs outside. It was crazy, very, very loud. Um, I'm going to show you a clip or two of what that sounds like because I used to think it was birds, but then I found out it's the frogs. So I don't know. Maybe today I'll go out there and uh, see some frog spawn. I don't know if I will because when they first lay the eggs, I think that they're kind of like a darkish color and I think they're kind of like on the bottom. And then once they get filled with water, they get all jelly-like, you know. Um, so I'm going to go check that out today and see all of my water containers and how much water I got and see if my plants are all droopy or if they're doing good. So, uh, yeah, it's supposed to rain again today, but hopefully not all day. Here's early on in the evening when they were just getting started. And about an hour later when they really get going. There was some serious frog hanky-panky going on, so I'm going over to the pond to see if I can see any eggs or whatever. I'm not seeing any eggs, but the water is pretty cloudy, and I think they're at the bottom at first. Until they fill with water, they're supposed to be kind of like black until they fill with water. But there's a gazillion tadpoles, and some of them, I know that you can't see them, but some of them have their their legs, like their, I think, I don't know if it's their hind legs or their front legs, um, but they're getting bigger, so some of them are going to be frogs pretty soon. Let's see if we can, oh, <laughs> I scared it. Yeah, and that one skinny one is still floating around in here, so I don't know if we'll be able to see it today, but look. They're getting big, you guys. There's so many of them. So I don't know, maybe tomorrow I'll see some spawn? Who knows? Um, the whole frog mating thing is very, very interesting. I spent a lot of time researching it last night, so I don't know. I'm going to go ahead and share some of that with you. Look at them. They are just so cool. So cool. So let's talk about frog mating and their life cycles. So what do you need for frogs to mate? Well, you need a still body of water and then you need a male frog. He's going to croak and croak and croak until he attracts a female frog. Ooh, look, she's like, I dig ya. I love your croak, man. And then he is going to give her a big hug and she's going to lay her eggs into the water and then he is going to deposit his sperm over the top of them to fertilize them. And and then they just kind of take off and go about their merry way. This is an actual photo of how it's done. He just gives her a hug around her back and so that he can get in, 
into the right position to fertilize all the eggs. That is a frog spawn right there. I'll leave the links down below for all of these photos that aren't mine. This is one to three weeks after they hatch out into little tadpoles. There's a better view of what they look like. And then around five weeks, they grow their back legs, which is totally cool. Around 12 weeks, they get their front legs. And then around 14 weeks, they absorb their tail and turn into a real frog. By this time, their gills have disappeared. They formed lungs, so they no longer need to be in the water. So they jump out of the pond in search of real food like bugs and stuff like that. Well, unless they get eaten by one of my chickens. I am fascinated by this whole frog thing. I, I have tried to learn everything I can. Um, it's a win-win situation for me, basically. They, they lay their eggs, and they do lay the eggs on the top of the water. They, I, I don't think they sink or anything. So I don't think I got any... Um, eggs as a result of the massive croaking that was going on last night um but they uh, the tadpoles will eat the mosquito larva so that's great i haven't seen any of the tiny little mosquito larva um floating around in there trying to swim around because i think the tadpoles are eating them all so yeah a few more weeks they're gonna start getting uh, more of their legs and absorb their tails their gills will disappear, they'll form lungs, they'll hop out, and just become a part of this homestead. Yeah, I think it's awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, it's always good to learn something new, right? I mean, I'm always learning something new. Anyway, there's Papa. <laughs> He's being so good. Anyway, guys, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.